All right, this is a kind of sort of replication of Dr. Stifler's uh, blown fuse experiment, where he took uh, like an automotive fuse and he shorted it out on a 12 volt battery and blew it. Then he put it back in the the uh, fuse holder and hooked his uh, Sec 18 system through it and it lit up the LEDs on the back side. And uh, I'm not getting exactly the same results, doctor, as you did, but uh, it's a fascinating uh, little experiment. And uh, I did want to show that uh, somebody made a comment that it was just a regular fuse and it wasn't blown. And believe me that uh, this is the way it is. It's a blown fuse and a fuse holder. But what I think kind of is happening here is it's kind of acting like an S-gate kind of thing. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but uh, I couldn't get it to light up any more than about a six of these uh, LEDs. And uh, it's just on an AV plug. And I've made a little device here that's just uh, the LEDs hanging through the lid of a little plastic jar. And I soldered them together and made a cute little uh, thing using that AV plug. And the reason I'm doing it this way rather than on a board is you burn these things out pretty easy, actually. And when one goes out, the whole thing goes dead because they're in series. So this way it's easy to take them, uh, take them out and repair them. You know, I thought that was kind of a fun little thing there today. But this thing here, I did want to show this. Um, here again, I don't know what's going on. And like I say, I, I went ahead and blew the fuse. But let me take this apart here. And... Uh, Watch this. See the LEDs are still on here. That's not connected. And I don't know what that means. You know, I have no idea what that means. It's a capacitive coupling uh, going across here. But um, I really don't know um, whether that is helping anything there or not. Or whether it's just capacitance in the air capacitance with the leads or whatever but if I put this right up next to the coil here I get super bright LEDs uh, coming off the pickup of that uh, uh, blown fuse and fuse holder and I got super bright LEDs and there's no ground on this at all I mean there's no there's no other um, source it's just coming in through that uh, pick up there and somebody might say well it's just induction but it, it doesn't work like that on a, on a sec exciter it's different and I'll put this put this over here and show it to you that way see they're still on and this uh, you can take this and invert this other ways and make it go other ways and it's it's not an induction kind of thing it's a capacitive link but uh, Anyway, Doctor, I, like I say, I had a lot of fun with this. It looks like a small S-gate type thing to me. That's what I'm seeing here. But maybe I'm wrong. But I did want to say that it's not a, a phony thing, that the fuse is blown, and uh, there is no uh, extra antenna on this. It just, uh, just comes in through the one wire off that fuse holder. So Anyway, I hope this helps... Uh, in some way, like I said, I don't really understand the whole dynamic of this, uh, but uh, this was my stab at a replication. Thanks for watching.